Hello and welcome to HMS Tech Talks, where we discuss the latest trends within industrial IoT and uh, industrial communication. Uh, today we're going to talk about remote management of gensets, uh, power generators. And with me to discuss that today, we have uh, Anders Stolheder, who's one of our most foremost experts within uh, remote management. Uh, so first of all, welcome Anders. Thanks, Thomas. Um, so, speaking of gensets, why is it that they are so suitable for remote management? Well, generators are often located in uh, remote, unattended locations. Uh, so you don't really know much about them. You don't know how much they've been running, so, which makes it hard for you to plan your maintenance. And also, if, uh, if it's a backup generator, I mean, you need to know that there is fuel in the tank, the battery is good, and also that uh, it's in the correct operating mode. You don't really know if someone on site uh, switches from auto to manual or even just press an emergency stop. Uh, so without remote monitoring, you wouldn't know and it would, wouldn't start. Hmm. Right. I mean, gensets are remote by nature. Um, they're, they're out in the field. So, of course, remote management uh, is, is it's quite obvious what, what the benefits are. But, but there are also a lot of French benefits, a lot of extra things that people notice when they, they install the solution. What are those benefits? So uh, our customers, uh, after a while, often realize that they have other types of equipment on site that could also be connected. So they could benefit from remote monitoring. So actually, it's oftentimes, it doesn't even really start with uh, PowerGen. I mean, I, I remember one customer that reached out to us uh, regarding remote monitoring of beam pumps. As it turns out, he had diesel generators on all sides to power the pumps. So he could benefit from this as well. Right, so you can expand the solution uh, mm -hmm. after a while. Um, so how does it work from, from a technical point of view? Mm -hmm. So the gateway is, uh, normally it's connected via mud bus. To the, to the genset control panel. And then the gateway is connected to a cloud, cloud solution. Uh, it's oftentimes it's bi-directional. So you will be able to not only remotely monitor, but also control, so start and stop equipment uh, remotely. Does it have to be Mudbus? Do they have to communicate via Mudbus? No, you know, some lower end control panels will not have support for Mudbus. But if you have some IOs, some relay outputs and so on, you could still have uh, a decent control of your equipment in the field. Uh, if you have uh, support for J1939, for instance, you could listen in on the CAN bus from the ECU of the engine, the control unit of the engine. Um, but also other protocols might come into play, like as an MP commands and stuff like that. Okay. What are the things that you should look for if you're a, if you're a owner of a, of a genset? What are the things you should look for when you're, when you're uh, looking into a remote management solution? Uh, if we start with the gateway, it should be fairly robust. Uh, ruggedized because there will be vibrations on this kind of equipment and, and it's a harsh environment uh, sometimes. Uh, and also if you look at features, uh, if you are in the rental business I would say look for uh, a gateway with a built-in GPS because if you can locate your, uh, your equipment in the field, have positioning, tracking on map, also geofencing, uh, so you can see if, if things are moved out of place, that's, mm -hmm. that's very useful. Mm -hmm. Uh, on that note, actually, uh, the other day I heard about a customer in Australia and uh, they had one brand new genset stolen from their plant. Unfortunate for the thieves, it was equipped with a net binder that comes with the GPS. So uh, the police could locate this. They could really uh, track it in real time. And also when they found the genset, they also found a, a lot of other stolen uh, things like cars. Okay. This was in the western suburbs of Melbourne. Oh, all right. So, yeah, it can be used for a lot of things, uh, not, not, not just geofencing. Uh, right. Um, also, when you start a uh, genset, a, a lot of things happen to, to the current, for, for example. Um, what, are there different kinds of, of solutions that are especially mm -hmm. suitable for, for uh, yeah. gensets? Say that you're running a, a diesel genset on a 12-volt starting battery. Maybe it's cold outside. Mm. When you crank the diesel, when you crank the engine to start it, uh, the voltage will drop. Uh, so you should have a gateway that could uh, withstand this voltage drop without rebooting or, or failing. Okay. That's called cranking support. Oh, excellent. Uh, you, you've been working with uh, remote management of gensets for, for quite a number of years now. Um, what are the most common questions that you get from uh, uh, owners and, and uh, uh, rental users yeah. of gensets? Is it secure? They, they, they are concerned uh, if someone uh, unauthorized could access their, their uh, genset. So uh, 
really is crucial that you have a secure solution. Uh, you need, of course, all data sent over the internet to be encrypted. Uh, you should use strong passwords. Uh, I think you should use two-factor authentication with your passwords. Uh, and um, also, if you, if you can find a solution that is security certified, that's great. So some sort of official statement that is actually penetration tested and audited uh, okay. by a third party. So right. don't just take the, the manufacturer's word for it. All right. Uh, elaborate a little bit on this two-factor authentication. How, mm -hmm. how does that work? So uh, after you enter your username and password, you will be prompted for one-time password sent to your mobile phone. That right. just adds this extra layer of security. Right, right, right. Yeah, so security is something that, that you should absolutely uh, get down if you're, yes. if you're looking for a solution, right? Okay, uh, so that's a little bit about uh, remote management of uh, power generators. And if you're interested in to know more, uh, please visit our, our website, uh, e1.biz, uh, or hmsnetworks.com to learn more. Thanks for listening. Thanks.